YouTube, Brian Phillips here with another spot on challenge with a current plane, Delta Ray by Horizon Hobby, also known as, what's the, oh, Hobby Zone, Hobby Zone, guys, horizonhobby.com. All right, now that we've had that out of the way, um, you may have seen my other Delta Ray with awesome rudder. 4S, LEDs, differential thrust, landing gear, retractable, all sorts of... Well, anyway, this is my friend's. He needed some help. We were going to do it right this time. He got some Emax motors that are awesome. MT-2204, 3200 kV, brushless, beautiful power plants. And he's running for us some 6045R and 6045s. All we got to do is switch the props. Duh. Anyway, counter-rotating, he hooked them both up wrong. Out of, out of six wires, he got all of them wrong. Because there's only two ways to do this wrong. He Thanks. found out a way to get all 100% of them wrong. Thanks, but that's no big deal. All you got to do is switch your props. You're good. You're good. It's, he's with me tonight. It's no big deal, guys. 3S, 2S, 1,300 milliamps, similar discharge rates. You'll notice that this one here is a 20C. This one here is a 20C. That's what happens to a 20C pack when you use it, Horizon. Awesome. Don't worry, they're not overpriced at all, but neither is the ones from Hobby King. All right, cool. We got two leads. I wanna show you how to wire this up because it's a little harder than it seems. Get your radio, turn it on. Already bound to your original factory setup, okay? The reason this is all factory setup is because, and by the way, this board is taken out and flipped upside down. Uh, this is just a receiver board. It's got four screws. It takes about three seconds to take out. It's mounted upside down because we took off the factory plug, which looks like this. This is where you would normally plug in an EC2 connector. And that plugs into the factory battery, energizes the board. The brushless signal goes out to either of the brushed motors, runs the two V Delta tied servos and all the mixing is happening in this differential thrust for yaw control and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be stealing some 2s voltage off of a 3s pack by tapping the black and blue in this case wires and we're going to be using the main leads and this is just temporary to run both escs the signal wire ground wire and power wire are going to be running these little brushed two brushless signal converters by Xtreme. Just search for Xtreme. X-T-R-E-A-M. Did I spell that right? Xtreme. No, X-T-R-E-M-E. -E. Sorry guys, spelling is not my forte. Plug, you do have to redo this connector. So my buddy just took and cut off the one from the motor and just spliced it back on, no big deal. You can do it that way, you just cut these wires in color for color, red for red, black for black. And just bearing in mind that this is a 50-50 shot. You got three wires, one direction is gonna go the right way. Flip two, it's gonna go the other way. It doesn't matter, clockwise, counterclockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, it really, literally doesn't matter. Just switch your props if they're going the other way. It's not gonna make a difference. We, well, actually, we cannot do that because the knots are going to loosen up. Oh my okay. goodness, I knew he would have a good solution for us. So, what we're gonna do later off film is we're gonna switch these two leads. Thank you for pointing that out. All you YouTubers out there, so what you're gonna do is you're going to wire it up like so. It's going to look like crap. You're going to test everything. You're going to get your wires the right direction. Then you're going to plug all this stuff back in. Here's what you can't do. You can't run the main board on this battery, the 2S, what it's designed for, and then run this for the ESCs. And you're saying, Brian, you're full of crap. You can do that. Okay, I'm just going to show you why that won't work. Just so you guys know, I'm going red. The receiver is on. The battery's not plugged into the motors yet. To black. Okay, that's a 2S pack. This is in a level configuration as though the plane is actually upright so that it will initiate because it's got safe, right? Okay, everything's working, guys. Okay, no yaw control because there's no motors hooked up. All right, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to now be hooking up our dangerous side. This is going to be for our power to our motors. So negative is hooked up. Kids, don't try this at home unless you want to. Okay. Now we're live. I'm not gonna do this full strength because my friend's hearing is weird. 
throttle cuts on. That's what I have it set to. Throttle cuts off. Notice it's not going to work when I give it throttle. See, it's all weird, guys. That just hit a piece of foam. No big deal. Okay? It's weird. Okay? Throttle cuts back on. What I'm going to do is basically... One side's working. The yaw control works, but you see those lights all getting weird? Throttle cut is back on and tested. Now we're going to disconnect this, and then we're going to disconnect this. Okay, now I'm going to show you what will work. We're going to take this. We're going to lay it aside. We've only got our ground hooked up, so we're safe. Now we're going to go ground to the ground, which is black, and then we're going to tap the 2-volt side of this. Okay, so there's 1S, there's 2S, there's 3S. We're going to go to the 2S, which is the third one in. Okay, we're going to energize the receiver. What's going to happen is this is going to initiate. Now that safe has a second, takes a second. Everything's working. Okay, no differential thrust, nothing like that. None of the extreme converters are working. Now we're going to actually power up those. Throttle cuts on, throttle sticks down. Okay, now they're, in, they're energized. Okay, now watch. Throttle cuts off. We're going to do discrete. It's just differential thrust, everything. Throttle's going to engage. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to pause it. I think I lead pop free. All right, guys. I had one of my leads loose. Sorry. Throttle cuts off. Okay, so it's getting ticked off at us. So that's what's going to happen. Weird things. Okay, so what I did was I reattached my ground. And now... Differential thrust and fully discrete power. That's about fifty percent there, guys. Okay, so that's how that works. Differential thrust. Or just want to throw out a warning. Cut your throttle. Watch what happens. Still differential thrust because the yaw control output is still running those brushless motors. Because even if you have your throttle channel cut, so if you want a true throttle cut, uh, throttle channel cut, you got to be careful because the safe is still going to activate that yaw, um, counteracting the yaw effect. So you got to be real careful. Like if you pick this up and you dink it around, it could run the motor. So you need to be careful. I want to warn you guys about that. Anyway, so so that's what you got to do. If you try to run two packs, you're going to probably have issues because it's not going to initiate at the right time. So one of them is not going to get in sync. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to show you what we ran into because it was a little weird. And obviously the little direction sheet that comes with these little brushed manuals, um, uh, brushed to brushless, it doesn't really go into great detail. If you guys want to take a look at that, you can pause your screen or whatever. But that's the way we had it hooked up before. The only difference is I think we have to have a reference. The ground has to be tied between these two batteries. Um, not the positive. You'll catch something on fire probably, so don't do that. Um, but you'll tie just the negative line, which you can tie via your main connector or you can tie somewhere else, like off of your balance charge port. It doesn't matter so that they're common. And that's how you do it, guys. Uh, so program in a throttle cut on your programmable radio if that's what you're using. Works like a charm. Throttle cut is working. So I just want to show you how we're going to do that, guys. Um, Delta Ray. Again, these are called Extreme X-T-R-E-M-E. -E. Uh, just like it should be spelled without the E. So, And then it's a brushed to brushless signal converter. People use them all the time for little helicopters. Um, we're using it today for this application. These are 30 amp um, ESCs. You do have to have a BEC on there because that provides power back to this little device. If you don't have a BEC here, beware. Here's why. This thing operates on, look, it operates at 7.8 volts. That's a, that's a 2S pack we're running on that right now. Okay. So that's 3.7 times 2, which would be 
um, at full charge, you're talking in the, the high eights, okay? Depending on where you charge your batteries to. So this receiver voltage is only going to run in the certain range. And what's going to happen is you're eventually, see, because we're trying to run this off of our BEC output on one of our ESCs. That doesn't work. And you say, Brian, why doesn't it work? Well, it does work, but it thinks it's in the low voltage warning. So these things don't get any output because they're getting a brushed out output, changing it to pulse width modulation to actually run this electronic speed control as it pertains to the speed of this output, okay? So when you give it throttle, nothing works, but the differential thrust still works to yaw the craft, okay? So it's in low voltage warning. If you go straight off of your... So what we originally did was we did a Y cable in here, and we pulled off the power to try to run that. That's why uh, you can see what I did was I... I actually soldered, I, I built on a just a regular servo connector here. So don't do that, it's a waste of your time. Not unless your BEC puts out eight volts, which I don't think you can get that. I suppose it's possible if you want to. You could also do um, a coil set and try to bring up the voltage, but that, that would be ridiculous. So just tap the battery this way and it'll be fine. One thing you gotta be careful about is after you run this flight, you're gonna wanna test this on a, a good, reliable, uh, lipo tester so you can see if you've imbalanced the circuit and if you have you'll have to balance it periodically because you're going to draw slightly more voltage across cells one and two compared to cells three because all three cells are going to be used to run both of these brushless motors and cells one and two are also going to then be running this device so bearing in mind that there's a very limited amount of load going across the pseudo motor which is this now because um, the motors are actually getting the power from your uh, brushless 30 amp speed controllers in this case. I don't think you would have to use a 30 amp. I think I use 30 amps on mine. Um, but I also replace this. The cool thing is he gets to keep safe. If you need safe, if you're learning to fly, the Delta Ray is a great plane, but you have to have really good conditions to fly this thing. Uh, and the other thing is it just rolls out forever. So anyway, have fun with that. If you want some excitement, check out my other videos from the past when I did my Delta Ray conversions I got all sorts of crazy stuff I put a rudder in that thing I've got two brushless uh, motors I've had all sorts of cool things happen with the LEDs all this stuff I'm running them on 4S now this thing's gonna be probably running on 3S so but nobody's saying you can't run it on 4S if these E uh, Emax motors won't handle it so anyway you get the picture thanks a lot for watching guys hope this helps somebody out of a bind don't forget to like and subscribe